talking about heroin addiction? I didn't grow at 12 years old, roll out of bed and say, I want to be a junkie. Drug addiction is a chronic relapsing brain disorder characterized by neurobiological changes that lead to compulsion to take drugs. That's stated by Lou Lane from the American Journal of Drug and Alcohol Abuse Association. It's only been recently that drug addiction has been recognized as a disease. I'm here today to inform you of the three stages within a heroin addiction that people experience. It begins with tolerance, then goes to dependence and withdrawal. Tolerance is the decreased responsiveness to drug to the drug after continued use. In the book Drug Dependence by Jason White, he says one of the most obvious implications of tolerance is that a user has is to keep increasing dose to maintain constant effect. So the first dose that a person takes will give them the desirable effects, but when they take the same dose for the 50th time, it won't have the same effect. So in order to get the effect they need, they have to increase their dose. The idea of tolerance is works a lot quicker with un to unpleasant effects of a drug, rather than the pleasant effects. White gives an example of this in his book, Relating to Nicotine. For the first time, smoker, they inhale and the adverse effects are in obvious. If these adverse effects remain, it would be unlikely that the person would continue smoking. But instead, tolerance builds and the effects where the effects of the first use wear off and the user is able to promptly inhale the same dose which previously made them sick. In a book, Drugs and Society, they, the author said it's not uncommon to experience nausea and vomiting after the first administration of heroin. But as tolerance forms, the unpleasant effects subside. Another thing with tolerance is called acute intolerance. White notes in this book it says tolerance also develops within the time course of a single drug administration. So if concentrations are the same, the effect toward the end of the period is in the body will be less than the beginning. A good way to think of this, for most of you that might have an idea of it, would be with alcohol. So if when it's in your body, in the beginning, the concentration is this high. And at the end, when it gets back down to the same concentration, the effect at the beginning was higher than it is at the end, when the concentration is still the same, but the effect is lower, because your body built a tolerance already, just in that one time period. Tolerance and dependence go hand in hand with each other. So as tolerance builds up, your body forms dependence on the drug. So the more you need the drug, the higher your tolerance gets. There are two forms of dependence within heroin addiction. You can experience physical addiction or a psychological addiction. A physical addiction means that the person physically needs the drug, and without the drug, their body will ache and they, their body physically goes through changes. The psychological dependence is the person thinks that they need the drug in order to live life normally, and they don't know how to live without the drug. Positive and negative reinforcement is a really key part in the psychological dependent aspect. Positive reinforcement is when good, there's a good effect brought on by your behavior. Bloom says in his book, Dreading for Drug Problems, that positive reinforcement can happen after a person feels relaxed numbed, or excited. So in other words, the experience is pleasurable. Negative reinforcement is when a negative consequence is taken away after a behavior. So with physical dependence, when you're physically dependent on the drug, the negative reinforcement would be by taking the drug, your physical ailments from not using the drug will subside. Another video. Heroin causes physical changes in the brain that lead to chemical dependence. If an addict doesn't shoot up at least twice a day, they go into withdrawal. You dope sick right now? 
Leanne runs into her friend Meg, who needs help shooting up. Okay, Meg's dope sick, so she's got low blood pressure, right? Dope sick means she's in withdrawal. Because she has low blood pressure, she can't find a vein to inject. So I jug everybody. Meg needs Leanne to jug her, or shoot heroin directly into her jugular vein. Physical symptoms of heroin withdrawal include severe muscle pain, vomiting, diarrhea, and in some cases, even death. Addicts will do anything for the next fix. Tolerance to the drug, become dependent, and then go through withdrawal. 